What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with another awesome math lesson. Today, we are talking about what is scientific notation and how do you write it. All right, so let's dive in and see what our objective is today. Our objective today, all right, today we'll be able to understand what scientific notation is and how to rewrite large numbers, such as the weight of a whale shark, using scientific notation. But first, let's look at the question, what is scientific notation, right? So scientific notation is a convenient way to write really big numbers, kind of like the weight of this giant sequoia tree, or really small numbers, kind of like the weight of this cell, using powers of 10. Now today we're gonna focus on writing really big numbers with lots of digits, shortening them, and writing them in scientific notation. Let's take a look at the basics for what we'll be doing today. Every scientific notation is going to have a number, okay, multiplied by a power of 10, right? So we're gonna have a exponent where the base is 10, and then we're gonna have some sort of exponent up here, we'll just call that n, okay? This is the form that all standard form is written in. We're gonna have a number multiplied by a power of 10. This is an easier way to write large numbers, right? So this is actually a pretty large number because when you multiply by 10 to the sixth power, right? That really is telling you that you're multiplying by 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, right? If you don't understand exponents, check out our exponent lesson. And when you multiply 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, that number is actually 1 million. So 6.5 times 10 to the sixth power is really 6.5 times 1 million, which is really 6,500,000. So in standard form, we'd write 6,500,000. In scientific notation, we'd write 6.5 times 10 to the sixth power. It's a little bit shorter here, okay? Now, this is not, this is a large number, but this isn't a gigantically large number, right? Typically, when you're gonna write numbers in scientific notation, this is gonna be like six trillion or six billion where there's a lot of digits. So it makes it very quick and very easy just to write scientific notation as kind of a shortcut to represent this value. So now that you've kind of seen the long way to do this, right, you don't want to write this out each time, let's take a look at the shortcut. Now this shortcut is all due to base 10 magic, right, the wonderfulness of the base 10 number system. So the exponent tells you how many times to move the decimal point, all right, and that's because we're multiplying by a power of 10 right here, which the shortcut that we all learned is just move your decimal place over. So if I have 5.61 times 10 to the fourth power, okay, um, and our next lesson we'll be talking about negative exponents. Today all these will be positive exponents. What we're gonna do is we're gonna write this base number right here, right? These are the significant digits, and then we're just gonna be moving our decimal place and adding zeros when we need to. So I need to move the decimal place to the right four times. So if I do one, two, three, four, now I'm gonna move my decimal place right here, and when I rewrite that, I'm gonna get 56,100. Now again, there's really no point in writing this number in standard form, it's really not any shorter, it doesn't save you any time, but this is just an example so you can understand the shortcut. This shortcut makes scientific notation really quick and easy to do, but we always wanna remember why we're doing this, which is really, this 10 to the fourth power is really a 10,000. All right, let's practice using this shortcut now. So here we have a rough distance from Los Angeles to New York City, not in miles, but in feet, okay? In miles, it's, uh, it's a little under 3,000, right? Um, so this is a rough estimate, right? That's why I said rough, not exact. And so we know our significant digits are gonna be one, two, and nine. So I'm gonna write 1.29. I know I'm multiplying by a positive seven, which means I'm gonna move this to the right seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to put zeros or non-significant numbers, right? And all my place values that I need to fill in. And now I'm going to rewrite it, one, two, nine, and five zeros, which makes this 12,900,000, okay? So the rough distance from Los Angeles to New York City, I rounded it, is 12,900,000 feet, and this is 
the same value that I showed up here in scientific notation. I just wrote it in standard form. Again, that's the shortcut. And if you wanted to understand the long way again, that's because 10 to the 7th power when you multiply 10, uh, when you multiply 7 copies of 10 together would really be 10 million, right? So that's the long way to do it. Shortcut, look at the exponent, move that decimal place. <laughs> All right, so here we have a U tribe problem. Okay, so we want you to convert this from scientific notation to standard form, which is just how you normally write the numbers. What number is this kind of a shortcut to write? So go ahead and pause the video, try it out, and then push play to check your work. So hopefully you just paused it. Again, I'm multiplying by 10 to the positive ninth power, which means I'm gonna be moving this nine places to the right. And so when I do that, I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fill in my zeros right here, there we go. And when I come back, let me rewrite that. 2.795 times 10 to the ninth power is really a shortcut to say 2,795,000,000. Again, when we're writing scientific notation, we're kind of getting rid of these non-significant zeros right here, okay? and we're replacing it with this multiplying by a power of 10, right? Because this 10 to the ninth power is really a billion. So this is like saying 2.795 times a billion. So hopefully you got that one right. Let's take a look at another way to use this. So here, this is the weight of a whale shark, right? 41,000 pounds, that's really heavy. So I want to write 41,000 pounds in scientific notation. Now again, normally we wouldn't write something this small in scientific notation, but we're just practicing. So I see right here, these are my significant digits, okay? So I know what I want is four and one tenth times 10 to some exponent, right? So how many places would I need to move my decimal, which is always next to my one place, to get it right in front of the fourth? That'd be one, two, three, four which means I need to multiply this times 10,000, right? Which would really be 10 to the fourth power. I just wrote it in scientific notation form, right? Your significant digits times 10 to a power. So these two numbers have the same value, right? This is standard form right here, and this is your scientific notation. Let's go to a U-try problem set. All right, so here we have our U-tribe problem. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna write down the distance from the sun to Pluto using scientific notation. Now, lucky for you, you don't have to have it memorized. I have a little graphic right here. And I had to, I rounded this, so this is a rough distance. But we have 5,906,000,000 kilometers in between the sun and Pluto. So when you're ready, go ahead and push pause. Try to write this number in scientific notation and then push play to check your work. All right, so hopefully you just paused it. Now your significant digits are gonna be five, nine, zero, six, right? This zero is significant because it's in between significant digits. And so we know that we want this to be 5.906 times 10 to a certain power. What would we have to multiply 5.906 by to get 5,906,000,000? Well, if you used your shortcut, you had to move that decimal nine places, which means our exponent is going to be nine. And the answer to this should be 5.906 times 10 to the ninth power. That is the distance from the sun to Pluto written in scientific notation. Now you could see this would be very beneficial if you just wrote the scientific notation instead of writing out the number each time, right? If you're writing a paper on this, this would save you a lot of time. Your fingers wouldn't cramp as much if you're able just to type in the scientific notation. So just to recap, scientific notation is a convenient way or an easy way to write really big numbers or really small numbers using your powers of 10. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We know there's lots of different options online. We really appreciate you spending your time with Instructed Beats. Please like, comment, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out all our other stuff at InstructedBeats.com, including some awesome merchandise. Again, thank you so much. Instructed Beats, out.